Right, how's it going guys? Welcome to another video. I've got a small plant haul um, to show you today. So I went to Periwoods and I also went to Forrock Garden Centre. I bought four plants in total and two of them I'm super excited about. Well, no, three of them I'm really excited about. Um, because two of them I've been wanting for such a long time and I want them to like propagate them and everything just to make more and maybe sell a couple. Um, and one of the other ones I just saw it and I had to have it because it, I've never seen it before um, in person and I think it's quite an uncommon one as well. Anyway, I will start showing and I don't know what to start with. I'll start with like the more common, less exciting one first. So I bought an Oncidium, uh, it was on sale. I've been looking for an orchid that's on sale because the prices of them, the, pl the price when they're in flower compared to the price when they're not in flower is absolutely ridiculous. Um, this one was only eight quid, but it was on half price because the flowers had been like had finished. So I got it for four pound. Um, I need to repot this. I got this from Periwoods, which I didn't think eight pounds was really expensive anyway. To be fair, but I got this half price. Obviously, not sure on what colour the flower is going to be, but the it's just got like a a label like this, so it shows the colours that they could potentially be. Hopefully it's going to be one of the like more orangey or yellow coloured flowers, but it's really healthy. The pseudo bulbs are not wrinkly, and I'm aware that once they do go wrinkly, you can't get them unwrinkled or smooth again. So you just need to keep them watered, but obviously not over watered. I'm going to be repotting it because the pot is cracked and broken, and the it looks like it might have fallen out of the pot a couple of times because it's it's not looking its best. But I'm quite excited about that. Oh, there's one of the old dead flowers there, so it looks like it might be like an orangey flower. I don't know, or I might be just talking rubbish. Um, but there's that, nice and healthy, nice and green. Um, I'm probably going to get some orchid feed for this, like a spray one. But I need to look into it, I've not looked into it at all yet. So that's the first plant, quite exciting, and only four quid, so not bad. Um, the Right, I'll go with this one next. This one I've been wanting for the longest time and that I went to Periwoods a, a few weeks ago and it, they didn't have it there, but this time they had it. It is the watermelon peperomia. There was only a couple left. One of them was in a bigger pot, so it was like 14 pounds. This one was only 5.99, which I think is really good because on eBay here, you could buy one leaf for about four quid to propagate yourself, so really good. Um, it's a bit battered a lot of the leaves are damaged and torn um, and this one's just like hanging but I'll probably cut them I'll propagate what I can from them this one's also in flower but they've got such a strange flower like not very interesting at all but yeah some of the leaves are huge on this one so I'll be propagating some of these and yeah that was a nice find and for 5.99 I thought that was quite a good price and then next I got this one I'll show you one of the well, I mean, you can don't look. Um, I'll show you one of the really uncommon ones that I got, which when I saw it, I just instantly had to buy it. This is the Sansevieria Trifasciata Silver Flame. And just look how shiny that is. Um, and how dark the green is. And then it's got the like light green variegation on the edges. And the pot is really misshapen. You see that point there, which means it's it's trying to spread. So I'm going to be repotting that. This one was 14.99, so it's quite expensive, but like come on, look at that. That is so nice. I I've not seen Sansevieria's like that before. So really nice. Glad I found that and with this one I didn't really care about the price. I just had to pick it up and get it. I thought I could put the student loan towards this. <laughs> um yeah, it's really nice that one. I might pro I, well, I will propagate I'm going to propagate all my Sansevierias, but this one does only have four main leaves. So maybe I'll wait until it grows a bit more before I chop it up. Or maybe I won't. I don't know. Not decided yet, but that is like... Look at the colours. And how dark green. I know I keep saying that, but that is really... And how shiny it is. That's just... Yeah, love that. That's definitely one of my favourites. I'm getting proper addicted to Sansevierias now. So I'll probably end up doing a Sansevieria collection video in a couple of days time because I've got not a massive collection, but I've got quite a few now. 
And then my next is another Sansevieria. This is the last one. And this one I got from Farrakh Garden Center. Look at the size of that. So if you remember, I have this, sorry, this is a Sansevieria Moonshine. And I do have another one of those, but I'll quickly grab it. Right, so this is the moonshine that I did have, which is just a propagation, um, a rooted propagation, which I got that from the mystery online box, which still really happy about that, but like, come on, look at that. Um, so this garden center never normally has very interesting house plants, in my opinion. So um, when I saw this, I just grabbed it grab the biggest one. Well, I grabbed the one with the most leaves because I'm going to be chopping this up and propagating a lot of the leaves. With Sansevierias, they take quite a long time to root and to like shoot new shoots, but um, I don't mind. There's loads of leaves and I've got a lot of time on my hands um, when it comes to propagating anyway. So this was 12 99 but I got 20% off of this, so it came to like £10 something, which you can't argue with the size of that. Like, look how big that is. If you compare it to um, this sounds fair, which was fifteen pounds, which only has four leaves. This one has, I haven't counted, but a lot. So, yep, going a bit sounds very mad, but I'm not going to apologise for it. <laughs> so that is everything. Let me stick that there because that is. I need to get some nice pots for these, but um, pot strike. Um, yeah, that's my whole video for today. Um, I'm going to be doing some propagation videos again soon, so I'll be doing propagation of the watermelon peperomia. I do some Sansevieria propagations. Um, what other ones did I have? No, that would be, that would be it, like, for the upcoming weeks. Um, but hopefully you guys are looking forward to seeing that. I've, a couple of people have asked me to do more propagation videos, so, and I'm obsessed with propagation, so I'll definitely be doing that. Um, yeah. I'm not going to waffle anymore because I've said all I need to say but if you enjoyed this video leave a like um, I've also set up an Instagram page and currently I have 25 followers which is nothing compared to my followers on here so if you are interested or have Instagram I'll leave the um, link in the description below so I'd appreciate a follow on there if you're interested it's just more pictures of my plants so um, and I might put a selfie up there every now and again but um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and let me know if you liked any of my plants or if you've got some yourself or if you've propagated sensor areas yourself, just let me know like the methods you used or how successful they were because like I say, I will be propagating a lot of my sensor areas and I've got my other sensor here, this one, which I'll be propagating too. This is like a more common version, but like I love the new leaves as they come through really light. So and I got the straps. Anyway, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.